Hi everybody, welcome back to C++ Programming, part 1, the basics, lesson 3, how to copy two strings. Okay, let's get started, let's create a new project. So come here, by the way, you can come to File, New, or you can come just here and type Project. Alright, Console, click Next, choose C++, let's type copy two strings next finished already let's open our source file and open man.cpp all right so we have hello world all right let's delete this so first i write a comment here this program will copy will use CTR copy function to copy two strings all right two strings all right so first let's create our project so pound include IO stream Remember, you always have to add this pound include arrow stream. Any C++ program needs to have this, and then import your 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 standard library. So using using name, okay, enter namespace std standard library. Okay, now let's create our main function int int main open parentheses come here open brace. All right, let's write a comment. So first, what is an array? So what what is a an array? Okay. All right. An an array is a sequential collections of elements that is stored in a specific location. Okay. Specific location. That that location will hold the same the same type of data. Okay. All right. So so basically, an array is a sequential collection. So it's a it's a collection of of elements. So how do you initialize an array? So how do you write an array in C plus plus? So init so. You write first the, the type, the type of the array, and then after the type, the name of the array, and then after that, the element that the array has, the element of the array, and then the element, All right? And then after writing the element of the array, now you need to list those elements. So it's called element one, element to an exterior okay so ex let's take an example for with colors okay let's say I, I need um, five colors inside my array so first the type is the integer so type int so name is, is color now I need four colors and then I need to list all the colors okay so you need to so red blue green and uh, pink all right this is how you initialize an array all right first uh, now let's go back to c++ programming so now we need to create um, a string what is the string okay so what is a what is what is a string okay basically a string a string is a collection of characters okay characters can be example one like a c as soon as you have so that's the that's the characters but the strings it's the string will be a string will be a string will be a b so this is two characters equals a strings okay to character a b equal a string okay so it's the collection of many one 
two characters to many characters okay now let's let's write the code first i need to and uh and initialize my array that will hold my my string okay so now I will, the type here will be a characters and then i call it string string one okay and it will, it will hold an empty and empty it will be empty okay now what is my strings i love c plus plus programming all right now and then let's close this so this it's my the type is a character and the string is empty and it will hold a lot of c plus plus programming okay now let's create a second string a second array so i call character string two this time this time my string two will will hold the number of character that my string one has my string one has so here the empty space is one character so one two here an empty place three four five six seven empty place eight nine ten eleven this is twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three all right i have twenty three twenty three characters twenty three characters and this time i will i will empty i will empty the I will empty the and um, I'll uh, sorry so I will empty the array because I want a lot of C plus programming to to be replaced inside that array okay now semicolon don't forget that now I'm, uh, now I need to use the string copy function so the string copy function okay string copy function this will copy this first string into the second string so first i want to copy this into the string two i want to i want to copy the string i want to copy the string one now. so the string one will be copied into the string two all right so let me comment here string string one will be copy and place inside string two okay all right so now let's let's prompt let's prompt this on the screen so see out every time when you want to prompt anything on the screen you have to write the console output so see out and uh, let me close this open this and inside here now i want my string one which since my string one I love C plus plus, so my string one will display I love C plus plus, and here sorry, and uh, okay here and then here I need to to take uh, the strings. So the string here will be string one. All right, now let's put end line, which is end line, and uh, all right. So now let me take and display the second string. So string. So here is string one, and here is string two. Okay, now and let me put the string two. So we display this end line. All right. So basically, this will this will say that and my string one is a love C plus plus programming. Now my string two will be will be will display a love C plus plus programming. How? Because my string one. Will be copy and replace inside the string two, so that's why I display the string two here. All right, and now let me quit the program. So exit the program. So return zero. This is how you exit the program. Okay, return zero. All right, and then uh, all right. So let me run it. Uh, before even run it, I see there's something I, I forgot. Okay, so what I forgot actually, it's um, see this string copy. I will have to import and uh, the, the the include string that that h because this is a C plus plus um, library. This is include C plus plus library that will um, make sure that this uh, str copy. And what is called and uh, yeah, it's available inside the string that h okay 
now I think everything looks uh, great so let's run this so please run already so we have this input it says string 1 empty and string 2 I love C++ programming all right there's a slight error here so the first string should hold I love C++ programming so let me count back again so DS1, so there's, let's say there's one character, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So here should be twenty-four. All right so and uh, let's uh, come back here let's close this and run it again all right all right perfect yeah string one i love c plus plus programming and uh, the string two the string one was copied and placed into the string two so that's why you see i love c plus plus programming already and then uh, let me see here also of here it should be close brace okay all right so yep i think everything is good so guys thanks for watching and uh, this tutorial was fun and uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos if you have any question leave comment below and uh, see you next time bye